You're watching a free sample video from Teacher's Test Prep. For videos like this one covering every area of your exam, visit us today at www.teacherstestprep.com. Pragmatics. Um, pragmatics is the situational context, verbal tone, body language, the knowledge and beliefs of the speaker, the relationship between the speaker and the listener, all the additional factors besides what you actually say that affect how someone interprets your meaning. So it's all the factors besides the words themselves. Let me give you an example. Um, I could say the phrase, he's a really nice guy, or I could say, he's a really nice guy. Those two things have exactly the same words, but they have completely opposite meanings. And the difference um, is the pragmatics. The first time my verbal tone sounded sincere, I maintained eye contact with you. In the second example, I rolled my eyes. I changed my intonation to indicate sarcasm. Um, so I gave you pragmatics cues that allowed you to interpret that in the first instance I was being sincere and in the second instance I was being sarcastic even though I didn't change the words themselves. So that's a good example of pragmatics. Um, most language learners develop an intuitive sense of the rules of pragmatics through observation. Um, sometimes some pragmatics cues are taught in school, but in many cases um, these sort of cues uh, students uh, and children develop an understanding through observing adults and other speakers using these kind of cues. And that's why when you look at young kids, they often won't pick up on something like sarcasm. They'll think that the person really is being sincere about something when they're clearly being sarcastic about it. The rules of pragmatics can vary greatly amongst cultures. And on the exam, they like to ask questions that have to do with the similarities and differences between cultures and languages and cultures and things like that. So this is a good thing to be aware of. Um, for example, in a lot of Middle Eastern cultures, showing somebody the bottom of your foot could be considered very offensive. Um, whereas in Western culture, that's typically not considered offensive. Um, so there are many, many differences between different cultures all over the world and what something means pragmatically. Even things as simple as how close do you stand to someone when you speak to them? How appropriate is it to touch a person while you're speaking to them? All sorts of things like that. Um, those all fall into the sort of broad category of pragmatics and those things can vary quite a bit from one culture to the next. We hope you found this free teacher's test prep sample video helpful. For more videos like this one covering all the subject matter and strategy you need to pass your exam, visit us today at www.teacherstestprep.com.